Hello, hello, friends. It is Dion at the Blushing Mint, and guess what I have done? I have finished Summer's Prelude. I am so excited to share this journal with you guys. I'm going to do a full walkthrough of this journal and kind of go go through it step by step with you, but I am just, I'm ecstatic with how she turned out. She's just, she's quite lovely, darlings. She's truly quite lovely. So, um, she also got a bit chunky, you know, she, she's, she's very healthy. She's a healthy journal. Um, so let's go through this. So Summer's Prelude is, um, again, made from the printable kit summer prelude by um ephemera's vintage garden and so um she is a single signature single signature um has a faux leather cover um and then on the front we have um our little front cover and then i have three charms on here hopefully you can see those i have the little um, made with love heart, a key, and then I have one that says, hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul. And I just feel like that fits so well with the birds and everything that's in here. And so um, anyway, she's got um, some cheesecloth and lots of lace and ribbons and oh, she's just, she's quite beautiful. Um, has a Sorry Silk uh, tie closure that's sewn into the front and back covers. Um, I told you she got she got a bit chunky. But look how pretty. I'm so excited. All right. So you open it up. And I have left this here open. Um, and so that can also be a tuck spot there. Um, we have our, this book belongs to, in our library pocket. We have a ticket and a little small tag. I have a couple bookmarks here that um, fit in that back pocket there. And then we've got lots of lace trims. Um, that's just a... Uh, big journal card. It's got some um, cheesecloth and a little piece of ephemera from the kit. And then it's lined with my um, hand dyed papers. Then some kit contents. A little journal card. Then we have our flip up decorated bag pocket and we've got a little journal card in there in the front and then we have a tag on a guest check a couple different little pieces of ephemera everything's all decorated lovely there then we have a little pocket here and I didn't tuck anything behind there there's lots of opportunity for people to journal and um, you know you can journal back behind and this is a great place to tuck. Um, lots of beautiful journaling on these pages. Then on this belly band we have the guest check and we've got just a few little pieces of ephemera here that fit into that little guest check pocket. And that fits in there. And then on this side, we have a little journal tag on an index card. That's just an index card. And we've got some extra fabrics and laces and things on that card. Then we just have um, some little spots for hidden journaling, or these would be great um, to put photos on, um, you know, if you have some small photos and then you can write a uh, photo on one side right on the back, so there's lots of great options there. And then more journaling. We have that tissue paper. Then this is our envelope window pocket. 
and I have just a big tag and some paper there and then you also have um, the pocket that goes through the window as well but I love the paper sticking um, being able to show through that window so I just put a tag into the back behind lots of lace trim and then this is just a piece of ephemera um, a piece of the paper from the kit and I just cut it down and folded it over stenciled the back added um, a little tab there and that goes in a lace lined pocket and this here is just a flip out and so that's hidden journaling space got a little tab on the bottom then we have a little tuck on this Edith Holden page this is just another journaling card on um, an index card there that tucks in there lots and lots of journaling and just beautiful beautiful pages um, then this is a pocket that is part of the kit and then I added just a tuck a tag from the kit and another piece of ephemera from the kit there and again we've got um, the sorry the dyed sorry silk um, ribbons on there in this side sideband um, I did a guest check and one of our um, texture paste tags that's lined there on the back and then I put made a pocket and this is also um, a flip up for hidden journaling space and then I just lined that with some more hand dyed papers and um, some stenciling there and then in this cute little this is um, a bag this is uh, the glassine bag and so we've got a pocket on this side with one of our texture paste tags and then a pocket on this side with the texture paste tags and those are lined nicely on the back with pages from the kit this is one side of our envelope that we did and we've got um, some little ephemera in the pockets there and that's a guest check And then this is the other side of our envelope and it flips out um, hopefully I'm in frame here it will flip out and then I have just tucked in here um, another piece of hand dyed paper and then I have used my um, edge punch and I'm um, just given that a little extra personality there and that just fits perfectly into that envelope for lots of journaling space and then this is the center of our signature and so we have another texture paste tag there and then in the pocket the center pocket I did another piece of the paper from the kit um, I failed to stencil the back of it so I'll go back and do that and then just a tab on the top there and that just tucks right inside that and then on the other side we have a pocket and I've done another texture paste journal card and I just love how these colors all just work together and then this is that um, little cluster that we made from all the little scraps that were sitting on the desk and that we put onto um, a piece of the sar uh, dyed sari silk and then in this pretty pocket again just another piece of that hand dyed paper with the edge trimming on it and then this is the other side of the glassine bag that we put in here and so I just have a guest check in there and it does have a little pocket here I don't have anything in there but you can always put a photo or something like that in there 
Then we have our Edith Holden Page coin pocket. And I've got a little piece of ephemera in the little pocket there. And I didn't put anything in here. This is something that you can just add your own letters or photos or whatever to that. Um, and then we have a tuck here. And again, I didn't add anything into that tuck. I think that's a great place to put your own little treasures. Then more journaling space. And this is another flip out here from that Edith Holden page. So that's hidden journaling or just whatever there. And then we have a pocket here in our glassine, our handmade glassine pocket here. So you can put something in there. And then back behind, I just put another piece of our hand dyed, hand stamped paper there. And I liked how that kind of all brought up the oranges, or I'm sorry, the yellows and the greens from that butterfly page. And then on the back of the music notes, just sewed in a little tag, a tuck spot there, and one of our tags, and some more journaling. It's just, it's so pretty. It came together just so awesome. I'm just so thrilled. And again, those um, three pages that are great for um, pictures or um, just journaling, however you wish. And then here, I just have clipped over that page um, another piece of paper from the kit and um, stenciling on the back. And I've just clipped that over the page here with a cute little paper clip. And that gives you tons of journaling space right there. And then in the back belly band, we have the guest check and a tag from the kit. And then our tuck spot here from our guest check. And it also has a place in the front and also the tuck spot in the back. And then in this side tuck, I've done the same thing. I've added another piece of paper from the kit and folded it, stenciled on the back there and just tucked that into the pocket with a side tab. And then our back pocket, we have another guest check tag. And then we're at the back of our, we're at the back of our journal here. And then I've got my little calling card here. Um, my boutique name and our uniquely handmade limited edition. And then I've left that back cover just blank. And so um, just a simple little bow closure here. And there you have it. It is Summer's Prelude. And I'm just, I'm tickled. I'm tickled with how well it turned out. I, I just hope you guys really enjoyed that process. And I hope that you found a lot of useful tips and ideas that maybe you could incorporate into your journals. And I can't wait to um, hear your comments and read your comments and see what you guys have to think about, um, about Summer Preludes. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for, you know, always coming along with me on these on my journaling journey. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And um, I can't wait to get this video uploaded so you guys can so you guys can see it for yourself. So thank you. Thank you, friends. I am excited to get started on another new project. Um, and I'll, I can't wait to bring you all along. So until next time, friends, take care, be good to yourself, take time to craft, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.